Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for Gemini for this for the month of August. So, sorry guys, I know we're cutting it really close, but I I'm literally like I think nine or ten days in from my surgery. And it was a pretty major surgery. They cut out both my fallopian tubes. And I thought it was <laughs> I mistakenly thought that it was just going to be quick in and out and it was not. So I'm a little bit behind this month and I appreciate all of you being so patient. So I'm going to try my best to get all of the signs readings out before the end of August. I'm going to bust my butt for you guys. Um, that being said, I would really appreciate it if you guys just, if there's nothing you can do, if you cannot support my channel, that's totally fine. But if you could like and share these videos, even just liking, it lets YouTube know that my videos are being watched and that I get, you know, put up higher on the tier of tarot card readers. So when you do a search, you know, the higher likes, the, the more that YouTube will recommend our videos. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but so I appreciate every single like. Um, if you guys can like it 20 times, then, you know, <laughs> I know that you can't, but if you could, that'd be cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I got my Romance Angels deck. I got my Shadow deck that I always use for you guys to see what shadows need to be conquered before you can achieve your wonderful love. I got my Rider Waite. I have my Tarot of Sexual Magic that we're going to use today. And I also have my Love Oracle. And I just saw an orb. Looked like dust, but it was definitely an orb because there's no dust in here. <clears throat> um, and my Angels and Ancestors deck. All right, so I always start with the tarot to give you the main storyline. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to put the other cards in with them, the love cards. So, okay. I'll show you what I mean. All right, what do we got for Gemini? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Self, and Star Team. What do we got for Gemini? What do they need to know? What do Geminis need to know? For their highest good, about their love life, for the month of August, please. Spirit Team, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Let's see, it's cut these bad boys three times. Right now I'm shuffling my Rider weight. Okay. And I'm going to shuffle my Love Oracle and my um, Romance Angel so that... I can pull a spread with all of these cards. Okay. All right. So what do we got for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini? For the month of August. For their love life, please. What do we got for Gemini? Mm -hmm. If you hear anything in the background, we are having a storm. I think it's just a little bit of thunder and lightning. And the turtles swimming around. So there's that. All right, let's shuffle one more deck. This is the Romance Angels. Let's shuffle that super quick. Angels, feel free to forward this if it's boring, I know. <laughs> Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Angels, Higher Self, Spirit Team, Star Family. What do we got for Gemini? I love the sound of tarot decks being shuffled. So I love to watch this part of the, you know, the readings. I gotta figure out how to get my camera down lower so you guys can actually see me shuffling and stuff. It's crazy. Oops, let me cut that back. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely thundering. I can hear it. What is going on here? You know what? Maybe I could prop my camera. I don't know. I got to figure out a different way. I got to figure out a different way to have my camera out so you guys can see what I'm pulling to. All right. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups. Whoa. We got Five of Wands. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Got a lot of pentacles. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. 
All right, let's get three more cards. Okay. So, we have unrequited love. So, whoever it is that you were interested in before. Whoa, pardon me. Okay, hold on a second. I was going to say that they're not interested in you, but they are interested in you. Here's the deal. You think it's unrequited love, Gemini. You think they don't care about you, but they absolutely positively do. They're acting like they don't. And here's the reason why. There's the chariot card right here, which shows me that they are hiding their emotions, not just hiding their emotions. Okay. We got mask, which means they're not being honest with themselves. They're wearing a mask. They're hiding their emotions. And the chariot means that they're fighting off really super strong desires. Um, the chariot also represents distance. So for some of you, it could be literally you guys live far away from each other. But they, these came out right next to each other. We got mask. We got the chariot. So hiding their true feelings, maybe even from themselves. And fighting off their desires, trying to keep them in check, trying to fight them off. Um, so it looks like it's unrequited, but it's really not. Also, this person that you're dealing with, they're kind of selfish, honestly. Um, you know, the energy right here that I got from them is they're not really seeing the blessings in front of them. Like, look, you got spirit offering this cop and they're just kind of like, meh, you know, so they're, oh, it's starting to rain. They didn't really see you as a blessing. Like they, it's really confusing because honestly, like it, it's almost like they, they took, oh God, I want to say they took you for granted, but it, it's almost like they didn't realize how amazing you were and and so they just kind of seen it as like oh this is just another relationship and then I felt like once you left they were like fuck <laughs> like I really screwed up <clears throat> see like they didn't put in the effort this says make the effort but I feel like they didn't put in the effort like there was um, a feeling of constant conflict you got five of wands which is like conflict, right? It's, it's, it could be conflict, like fighting between, you know, a lot of suitors coming your way and they're all kind of fighting over you. But it feels like this is like, it came out right with the chariot. So I feel like it's, it's fighting themselves. It's fighting off strong desire, conflict, fighting. So it feels honestly, again, like they're seriously trying to fight off their emotions for you, like really strongly. And I think the reason they're doing that, the next card, one of the next cards that came out under mask is healing. So they just got out of a really bad relationship. They're trying to heal. They're having some money issues as well. It came out with finances. See? So they are going through some stuff. What is that? Is that a hair on my camera? I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want to mess with my camera. So they're, they're having some financial issues. They probably either just got out of a divorce or just got out of a marriage and that is messing with their finances. Oh, did you see that thunder? <laughs> I mean that lightning. So it's messing with their finances. You know, maybe their ex-wife took a lot of their money or they, they paid child support. I don't know what it is, but it's messing with their finances. And so it's making them feel a little off kilter and off balance. And so they don't really feel ready for a relationship. But here's the thing. At first, they didn't see you as the blessing you were. After a while, they were like, holy crap. They see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as someone who's financially stable, a great mother, um, it, you know, whether you're mother or father. This is the energy that they see you as, a very nurturing, um, feminine, 
financially stable, caring type energy who's like very well off financially. This is how they see you. And so I'm, I'm getting a lot of feeling of regret. I feel like they feel like they should have put in more work. They're like, dang, I should have put in more work. There's definitely a hair or something. I don't know. They, they feel like they should have put in more work and they did not You know what though? The first card that I pulled is Ace of Swords. So I feel like there might be a breakthrough in communication really soon. I feel like they're going to make the effort and you know one of the other cards we got too is attraction so it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so I feel like once you focus on yourself they are going to come forward but let me just pull one more card just to get clarification can we get one more card for an outcome for Gemini please oh I hear that thunder can we get one more card for Gemini for an outcome? Whoa, we got two that popped out. Should I take them? No, I'm not going to take those. But you know what? I'm going to cut this deck. <clears throat> can we get... The energy just didn't feel right off the cards. It didn't feel like it was your outcome. All right, can we get one card for Gemini for an outcome? Is this person going to come forward or not, Spirit? Please. <clears throat> Three of Swords, heartbreak. They're not. They're not. They're too heartbroken. They're too heartbroken or you're too heartbroken. Either way, if they do come forward, I feel like you're going to be like, fuck you. Sorry, parental advisory, I cuss. <laughs> so I feel honestly like if they come forward, you're just going to be like, fuck off. Because you're just, you've had it with them. It, there's the, it's They put you through too much. Well, I did ask if they were going to come forward, and that heartbreak card came out. So I feel like they're not ready. They're not healed. Give it up, Gemini. <laughs> it's not going to be good. It's not going to end well. All right, let's do the sexual. <clears throat> you know what? Let's do your shadow deck first. Maybe there's some things you need to heal before you can move forward. Do we got any shadows for Gemini, please? Shadows for Gemini. Shadows for Gemini, please. Do we have any shadows that Gemini needs to heal before experiencing love in this lifetime, please? What do we got? This deck is fantastic, by the way. There's a little fruit fly just like flying around here. <clears throat> All right. Let's do three cards, please. Okay, Queen of Wands, fieriness. So, work on your temper. Queen of Wands, to me, always represents a woman with a fiery temper. Um, <clears throat> she's passionate, which is, a, excuse me, <clears throat> being passionate is a good thing, right? It means you um, are fiery about, oh, my voice is getting hoarse now. It means you're passionate and you're fiery about things that matter to you, which is a good thing. But on the downside, as a shadow, fire and passion is, it's too much fire, which means, you know, you have a tendency to lose your temper um, very easily. So be careful of that, Gemini. Also, you got Queen of Swords. Beware of being too cold. Um, as a shadow, it comes up. Queen of Swords is someone who's very logical. They're like, eh. They, they kind of use their head a lot. They don't use their heart enough. She's always, if you look in most tarot decks, the Queen of Swords, is a, she has her sword like this. So she's always like, what do you want, bitch? Like, it's like a guy comes and you go, what the fuck do you want? Like, you don't even, you don't even let him in the door. You show up with the sword in your hand and you go, What? And they go, whoa, I was just, I just wanted to know if you wanted to go on a, what do you, what? You want to know if I want to go on a date? A date? Is that what you're going to ask me for? Because the answer is no. Like that would be an example of Queen of Swords. 
And you have to be Queen of Swords sometimes because if you've been hurt before, yes, this is a good energy to be in, Queen of Swords. But as showing up as a shadow, it's not so good if you're looking for love. So beware of that energy. Queen of Swords is also represents a woman who is kind of flighty. Um, she can't really make up her mind. He or she, energy is fluid, you know, sexuality is fluid, whatever, sex, gender. So someone who's flighty, kind of in the clouds, you know, they're airy, <laughs> they don't, they have trouble making up their mind. Flighty means they have trouble deciding what it is they want. So for example, this might be the type of person that's dating more than one lover at a time because you can't make up your mind which one you like the best. That is the definition of flighty, <clears throat> right? As far as love goes anyways. So beware of that energy because um, you might come across as that, Gemini. And Ace of Disc, this is, um, it's not really a shadow. It's like um, financial stability. So, you know, it, I, I, don't, I don't think that's a shadow. But, you know, if it comes out as a shadow, it could be, you know, beware of your spending. I don't know. Um, beware of working too hard. It could possibly be. That could definitely be what it is. All right, we're going to pull from your sexual um, tarot of sexual magic and see what the kind of sexual energies floating around in your love life. Um, see if we have anyone interested in you right now. And then we'll pull from your angels and ancestors deck to find your spirit message and we'll be done. It's been a great reading. Excuse me. <laughs> it's totally raining here. Alright, what do we got for Gemini? What is the sexual energy like around Gemini? Do we have anyone interested in Gemini coming in for Gemini for the month of August? <clears throat> what do we got for our Geminis, please? Three card spirit. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. You definitely got someone coming in. <clears throat> King of Cups. Beware, the energy coming off the King of Cups cards is kind of like an, a pompous asshole energy. So they might be in touch with their feelings, but they might not always show their feelings. Do you hear that? It's crazy. Um, so this person that comes in, you'll know them because they might come across almost as like, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arrogant, right? I feel like they're not. I feel like it's just a show. But that's how you'll know them because they'll come across as sort of arrogant. Um, they'll be financially well off, okay, whoever it is. They're very passionate, though. There's this energy of um, strong sensuality around this person. Uh, five of Cups. It's a possible fire sign. It could be a cancer. There's cancer energy. There's also fire energy. Five of Cups, though. It. This is the mirror card. So, I mean, it feels very twin flamey. I don't want to say that because, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions around the, the twin flame, twin soul. But this is usually my twin flame card. There's... Um, so it's a woman and you can't see it. I know this camera's not so good, but there's, um, hold on. <sighs> My big face. It was a hair and it's bothering me. There goes the orb again. It flew up here. So you can't really see it, but there's a woman here. This is like a, um, um, fountain and there's her face is reflected and it's not even her face cause she's looking at him, but there's a face in the water. So it's literally a reflection, a mirror. This person is your mirror, okay? So it feels very twin flamey. They might need to let go of some things in the past though before they can come forward. I feel like maybe that's why they haven't came forward yet. Because Five of Cups is kind of letting go of the old life to get into the new. So this could be a person who's like just had a spiritual awakening, okay? So those are the cards. We got King of Cups. See how he's coming across as sort of arrogant. He's like stroking her hair, like almost like she's a pet. And that's very, to me, that's very arrogant. 
Um, Knave of Pentacles, which is Knight of Pentacles, he's... You know, he's pouring wine over her, which is very sensual. He's giving her wine and he's pouring it over her body. He's also holding her very tightly. So this person could be very possessive as well. Be careful of that. There's a very possessive energy coming. Arrogant and possessive. <laughs> That's how you would know this person. They're definitely a fire sign. I mean, could be a cancer, but cancers aren't usually that possessive. So it feels like a fire sign. Um, but they will be very caring and very kind. Um, this whole like arrogant thing is just to show it's, you know, it's because they might feel insecure coming to you. They might think that you're, you know, you know, a really great catch and you intimidate them or something. I don't know. But the five of cups card right here. I mean, there's a very nurturing, caring energy coming off of this. Like he is, you know giving her a plant he's rubbing it over her her leg it's almost like he's pampering her so it's it's not the energy's not all that bad all right so we are going to draw your spirit message and then we will be done gemini so i think you do have someone else coming in and now, you know, King of Cups is like a very loving energy. So, uh, sexually, they'll be very passionate. Um, like to take control in that area, you know, in the bad German stuff. Um, but they will be a very uh, attentive lover. Like I said, probably a fire sign. So, lots of passion. And they might not come across as open right away. Uh, they might um, come across as kind of arrogant. But overall, they're King of Cups energy. So their heart is open. And eventually, you will see that softer side. All right. So one more card. Let's get Gemini's spirit message. And we're done, please. All right. Let's shuffle and cut these. Let's cut them now. Mm -hmm. all right what is gemini's spirit message we got white witch be the light all right so spirit is basically telling you it's time to shine your light don't be afraid to show who you really are show your authentic self i feel like you know your person will be able to find you once you turn your heart light on and show who you are. Show who you really are. Show all the kindness, the love, the light. You know, um, your positivity and your light is what <clears throat> is drawing. Something is going on with somebody's throat chakra too. Because I cannot talk. And this is not me. <clears throat> I keep having to clear my throat. Um... I want to read it to you from the book too, but yeah, it, your light is what draws people into you because it shines so brightly. Take the higher road and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. So you might be experiencing some um, negativity from other people in your life. Try to be the bigger person and just love them from afar. It's okay to cut them out of your life, Gemini. The White Witch card represents the maiden aspect of the triple goddess of paganism and modern Wicca. The maiden is a gentle, innocent, and pure aspect of the goddess. There's a hair somewhere. It's annoying me. There it is. A loving soul who wants nothing but the best for the whole earth. Here she is joined by a horned owl, showing that she is willing to respect those with more wisdom and experience than she has but she's also willing to trust what she feels to be right within with this card you are being reminded of the goddess within no matter what is happening to you or around you you have a choice choose not to be pulled into dramas bickering or energies that are just going to limit your joy <clears throat> if you are surrounded by people who are hostile towards you or someone else, or you are in a negative situation, perhaps in your workplace, 
You are being invited to be the light. So how can you change the energy? How can you redirect the conversation to love? How can you protect yourself? How can you help the person that he's being picked on? Or are you the one who's guilty of causing a drama? You will know the answers. Know also that you are being encouraged to shine the light you are born to share. And I still feel like there's a hair. All right, that's all we got for you, Gemini. It has been an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful reading. So thank you, Gemini. I love you so much.